The Cryptomat effect is found under the 3D channel category. And just like all the other effects in this category, they're meant specifically for 3D renders from outside software like Cinema 4D or Blender. So if you're not bringing in 3D renders from outside of After Effects, then these won't really do anything for you. But the Cryptomat effect allows us to work with Cryptomat passes from 3D renders. So I have this 3D render of my cute little Lego heart and I've rendered out a crypto mat pass with it, which shows up as just a black blank layer when I first bring it in. But as soon as I bring out the crypto mat effect, then I see all these pastel -y looking colors showing up in the shape of my render. Now I specifically rendered out a material crypto mat, meaning that every material in my scene has its own matte color. And what this effect allows me to do is generate a matte based on any number of those materials. To use it, I'm just going to have it selected and then click on any color that I want to be highlighted. And I can even shift click on a second color. So now I have the whole heart selected. And let's say that that's all I wanted for this pass. Well, I'll come back over here and we'll see that the layer crypto material was chosen. It made a selection, which I could click on these and type in specific selections, but that's much more work than I need to do when I can just interactively click on any color. So if I wanted to add another one, I'll just shift click here. But let's say, oh, actually I didn't want those bricks. Well, I'll hold down alter option and click again to remove that selection. Okay, so this is what I want to have selected and I want a mat generated from this. So I'll come to my output and change it from colors to let's say matted colors. And now my layer has transparency providing me an alpha mat. So I could use this layer, change it to alpha mat, and now I have just my heart visible. Or if I undo that and change this from matted colors to matte only, then I'll get a luma mat and I could use the luma mat track mat instead. I'll undo that one more time. And the only other option is matted RGBA. And this would only be useful if you have an alpha channel included in your crypto mat, but I don't. So I'm just going to choose matted colors or matte only. Crypto mats are a really powerful feature of 3D software for compositing in other software like After Effects, but that's everything you need to know about it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.